In this short video, I want to show you how easy it is to use breakout rooms within Zoom. So if you're using Zoom in collaboration with Brio to deliver virtual training sessions, it's really easy to add breakout rooms so that you can have that uh, discussion within the session and uh, more closely uh, mimic what you could do in the classroom. So it's it, one of the things you need to do to start out is to make sure that you have breakout rooms switched on for your host and that's done in the uh, settings in the advanced settings and down about halfway down the page you have a toggle that you need to move that uh, switches on breakout rooms so you need to make sure that that's turned on for you as a host or for the host who's going to be delivering the training and then once you're in the session you'll have a an option here to to configure breakout rooms. So if I click on that, you can see what I'll have. So I have three other participants at the moment, and Zoom will give me the opportunity to uh, break those into uh, rooms of different sizes. So it's, it's automatically putting my three participants in one room. But if I increase the number of rooms, then it will start to automatically put those people into different rooms. So if, as I have larger and larger groups, I could have two people per room, I could have three people per room, four people, whatever it is, and then those those groups would be automatically set up. So if I, if I, even if I leave that on automatically, I can create the breakout rooms, and then it's going to give me the chance to move people around if I want to. So I could switch, um, I could exchange uh, one person for another, or I could move someone to another room. So let's do that, move to breakout room two. I can rename my uh, breakout room. So maybe these are teams or uh, departments or groups, you know, team names and things that you want to, you want to uh, add to those breakout rooms. So I can do that just by renaming and uh, changing that here. Okay, if I open those rooms, I'm going to send those people to the to the particular breakout rooms. But I might want to set some options first before I do that. So look at the options here. I've got um, I can move all my participants into the into breakout rooms automatically. I can allow participants uh, to return to the session at any time. I can um, close the room. This is quite a, a key one. Close the room after, say, Maybe I want to give them 10 minutes to discuss something. I can have it so that uh, you, it will notify me, the host, when the time is up. And I can also set this countdown timer so that uh, at about 60 seconds, the people in the breakout rooms will know that the room is about to close, so it's time to start wrapping things up. But I can choose from other things too. I could do uh, you know, 120 seconds. I could do just 10 seconds. Okay, so I've got a choice there. If I've made some changes here and I want to start again, I can click Recreate, and that will move people randomly again into, into new breakout rooms. Okay, if I open those rooms, I've now moved those people out into the uh, different breakout rooms. I can join one of those and go in and discuss with that, with that group. Or I could, um, you know, join join the other breakout room. I've got a choice here to kind of jump in and out of those different breakout rooms as the host. If I want to send a message to everyone, um, so maybe it, maybe I want to send a message. It's you know five minutes and we need to wrap things up. Then I need to use this broadcast a message to all, and that will get the message into the breakout rooms. So maybe I want to send a link to a, a survey that I want everybody to do, or a, a worksheet, or or a question. You know, at the five minute point, here's the next question. I want to move things along in some way. That's how I can communicate with all of my rooms at the same time. I can't use the chat because the chat is just communicating with the people in the room that I'm in. Now it would communicate with everyone in the room that I'm in but no one else is in the room that I'm in at the moment. They're all in the breakout rooms. So I need to use this 
broadcast a message for all. Okay, if I want to bring everybody back automatically rather than um, or manually rather than letting the timer do that, then I could just come into breakout rooms and close all rooms and everyone would come back in into the main session. Okay, so I hope that gives you a little bit of a kind of sneak peek on how breakout rooms work within Zoom so that you can make effective use of, of those during your training sessions uh, and blend them with other things that you're using within Brio.